today's video, we're doing something a little bit different on this channel. I've never done a video like this before. So if you guys like this type of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. For today's video, we are going to be thrifting trendy home decor. And I'm talking about finding things very similar to what's in the current collections at places like West Elm, CB2, Crate and Barrel, Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, all of this stuff is very comparable to items that they currently have on their website for much more. There's gonna be some DIYs and thrift flips in here as well. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and turn those post notifications on. So first things first, we are gonna head on over to the thrift store and see what we can find. So now that we are back, I'm going to share with you guys what I got and my plans for it as far as upcycling any of the pieces if they need to be. Now the first item you guys may have already seen in a previous video, but it's just this bust decor piece. They have one of these at CB2 that has actually been in my cart and on my wish list. However, that one is $80 and I just could not justify paying $80 for something like this, especially because it's one of those pieces that like if you knock it over or you drop it, it's just completely done. This ended up being $4.99. Now it isn't white exactly like the one that I wanted, but if I choose to, I can spray paint it. However, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is because to me there was something so different about the metallic color that it is. It's very unique. It matches with the current season. And then again, like I said, if for any reason I ever want to make this one of the white decor pieces, a layer of spray paint would be just enough. And yeah, I'm super excited for this piece. Again, being able to pick this up for $4.99 and it is really good quality, very durable, nice and heavy. So Next, moving on to an item from Anthropology. I had been lusting after their different types of unique mugs that they have. However, the particular set that I fell in love with was I believe around like 70 something dollars and I was just kind of like, Probably not gonna spend that much on just a simple set of mugs. However, when I went into the Goodwill, I was able to find this set and I got a little confused because each of the cups said $3.99 on them. So I was like, it's kind of expensive, $3.99 for each of these. But the lady did point out to me that there's another number on here indicating that there were actually more of these mugs and they're $3.99 for the entire set. So I got a set of four of these. Unfortunately, they don't have like the little handle on them. However, that definitely wasn't a deal breaker for me since this whole set was only $4. A quick like deep wash in your dishwasher and these will be completely clean as new. So super excited that I was able to find these. The next thing that I also picked up from the Goodwill is just this woven basket that I found. This is definitely meant to just like go on a tabletop and be one of those just little baskets you can put in the center of a table. However, within the Anthropology collection, they have these baskets that are actually meant to be hung on the wall. And I have wanted one for so long. I initially went into the store and saw them and I was like definitely gonna get one of these until I saw the price tag and I was just like no I don't think I'm gonna spend that I just really couldn't bring myself to spending that much so when I saw this I was like I could definitely turn this piece that was only $2.99 into very similar to what those little baskets look like in anthropology with just some black macrame so I headed over to the craft store and picked up some black macrame and then I just made several pieces of the macrame I took my hot glue gun and then I aligned them into this particular basket. You can make any design you want. There's several different designs on the Anthropology website. However, this one to me worked the best with this size basket. So I'm super excited with how that turned out and I'm gonna hang it on my wall and it's gonna be perfect and definitely 
a lot cheaper than what Anthropology is selling them for. The next thing that I found, this was actually from Salvation Army, and this is just a candle holder. I immediately was drawn to this. I picked it up. It was very heavy and durable, and I thought that this was perfect for like the upcoming fall season. However, it could work year round. I knew that I had seen something very similar to this at CB2, but it was definitely a more modern version, and I definitely don't think the quality is going to be the same as this. Like I said, this is so heavy and durable. It did have some candle wax spilled on it as well as I felt like there was a little tarnishing on this piece. However, I just headed on over to Amazon and got some tarnish remover. I will have that linked in the description box down below along with everything else I used to kind of upcycle these pieces and the originals as well. But using a little bit of tarnish remover after you give this like a nice deep wash in some hot water, you can use a tarnish remover for pieces that you find at the thrift store. Keep in mind, it's not always gonna work. Some of the pieces are just like so far gone that they can't be fixed. However, to me, it was definitely not a deal breaker if I couldn't get all the tarnish off of this. I think that the tarnish gives it a little bit of character, makes it look a little bit more rustic and vintage, and that's definitely something that fits in to my personal style. Something that has become so trendy recently as far as home decor goes is the gold frame artwork pieces, especially like the gold frame with the black and white sketch art has become really Really big even Target has like knocked it off and made their own dupe of it recently however when I initially saw this frame at the Salvation Army it was $6.99 and I wasn't a huge fan of the graphic that I saw here but I didn't think it was the worst and it definitely gave me like very like vintage vibes so what I decided to do was just go to my local craft store and pick up some gold leaf paint I get a lot of questions about it so I will link this exact one in the description box down below yes this is a pretty small container of this paint however you're getting such a rich metallic color that it gives off I'm a huge fan of this stuff so I just used one layer of that on the edge of this frame and was able to change it into a metallic frame now I did want to originally take out the graphic in the painting and kind of sketch out something on my own but once I painted the frame I actually thought it looked really good so for now I'm gonna keep the photo in there that is already in there and then whenever I get sick of it you can easily switch out and take that graphic out and I will put in probably some sort of line sketch I'm sure you guys will see that in an upcoming video because I do think the gold with like a black and white photo in this particular frame it would look amazing but again you're getting that artwork look for a lot less like for the frame to even be $6.99 was a great deal I had previously went to Goodwill and I found something very similar but it was $12.99 and I was like kind of expensive for Goodwill I'll pass so I'm super excited I also found this one at Salvation Army for almost half of what they were charging there probably one of my favorite things from this particular thrift shopping trip is this floor base this was $16.99 which is a little bit on the pricey side when it comes to shopping at thrift stores However, if you guys will see when you're shopping around, floor vases usually start at around $100. I'd say that's about the range that they're, they are. And they're beautiful pieces. You can have them forever and pretty much put whatever you want in them. I personally just get some pompous grass. It's like my favorite thing to decorate with. I added it to this particular vase and I think it looks absolutely amazing. I put it next to my entryway table and it just adds such a good little pop there on the side and definitely a lot cheaper than the hundred dollar mark also again i cannot stress enough this piece is just like so durable such good quality i opted to not use the tarnish remover on it just because i felt like the tarnishing on this particular piece just looked amazing but if you did want to use a little bit of the tarnish remover you definitely could on this piece as well another piece that looked like something i had definitely just seen on my last trip to cb2 is this little trinket tray this was 5.99 and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell by me holding it up. I will include close-ups, but this has this really cool, like, dribbled paint effect. It almost looks like they use the same gold leaf I used previously in the video and put it on this tray. I think it was actually already done when they bought it like this, but these particular trays can get a little pricey. I'd say you can find them from anywhere from, like, $30 and up. But this one was only $5.99. Again, to me, it's super heavy, such good quality. It has little feet on the edges. Definitely gonna put this on top of my dresser and style it with maybe a candle and just hold my watch on it. 
I just absolutely love this. This would also look amazing in a bathroom, so you might even see me later move this to my bathroom as well. Another thing when it comes to home decor that can get really pricey very quickly are bookends, especially really durable, heavy quality ones when you're looking. So when I saw these, I was like, wow, $7.99 for two of these, and they're a marbled crystal horse head. I just initially was like, these are screaming to me, West Elm. These look exactly like some West Elm bookends they have. They're not shaped in the form of horse heads. They're very like crystally styled bookends, but to me, this was even cooler that it's actually like a horse head. You can use it in this direction or you can use them in the opposite direction. And all these really needed was just a nice sterilizing and clean and they are ready to go and to be used on your bookshelf. So super excited to add these to my home decor collection, especially for that price point. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, if you guys haven't really noticed, one of my favorite things to decorate with are different like vases, small, large, any sort of texture and material style. So I came across this brass vase and immediately again when I picked it up super heavy such good quality and this looks exactly like another West Elm vase that I had been eyeing for a while the texture is just in a different direction however it looks pretty much like the same thing this one is only $7.99 and I definitely don't think the West Elm one is actually made with the same material as you guys can hear this is a pretty heavy uh, durable like metal uh, material and the ones in West Elm I actually think are breakable. I believe they're made of ceramic, but don't quote me there. Don't think I'm gonna mess with the tarnishing, but you could definitely use the tarnish remover again if you wanna be a perfectionist. But for me, when there's a little bit of tarnishing on an item, again, I just think it gives it character. It makes it look very unique. This is gonna go on my entryway table as well, just to kind of spice things up. So. Last but certainly not least, we all know the coffee table book trend has kind of like exploded. I know everyone reads books and everything but the whole coffee table book trend and just having books everywhere and super trendy books just kind of like took off and blew up out of nowhere so I never really look in the book section when I go to the thrift store and on this trip I was like let's see if I can find something that's like a trendy style coffee table book for less because the books are usually around one dollar to two dollars at the thrift store and I found some gems. So the first book I found is this California book and you guys know I'm born and raised in California but I definitely think that there's probably so many places just in California alone I've never gotten to explore. And I opened this book and it just has beautiful photos and all these different places that you can travel and things to see and do in California. And I definitely think this book is a little on the older side but to me that just added more to it and made it look vintage. Let's see if I can see a date on here. Oh, this is actually from 1995 and it is a Walt Disney Company book, but you wouldn't really know that but from looking at it because it just tells you cool places to go in California. So a coffee table book that's also vintage that not everyone's gonna have. Highly would recommend checking your thrift store for cool ones. And then the last one that I found, I was super shocked by because it's in such good quality. It is a best recipes for 2015 book and I know it's 2019, um, however, the recipes don't really change and I was looking in here and there's just so many different recipes. There's vegetarian options, there's vegan options, there's meat if you want to eat meat, there's like everything and I'm so excited to look in this book. Also just love the color of the cover and everything. It's going to look great on my coffee table so if you're willing to get something again a little bit older it's going to be a lot cheaper. So those were all of my thrifting trendy home decor finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you guys enjoyed this video concept, also let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do this again. I had so much fun shopping and filming this video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.